first opinion is that, I hate it when K-pop short channels make shorts that are general, example, K-pop songs that are iconic or shorts like these, but end up using songs and clips that everyone already knows about, and it's nothing original in their K-pop shorts, because you'll probably see about 2-3 to K-pop shorts channels adding the same song on their shorts, because it's on the same topic. I mean you can make the same idea, but I want originality, which isn't present as much anymore. I hate K-pop shorts that make videos on topics that are already known by everyone. Like, popular K-pop groups that disbanded, or things like that. I've seen this K-pop short. Also I hate K-pop shorts that are just repetitive content of other K-pop shorts, like for example, K-pop songs that sound similar to other songs, and I saw two to three of these shorts, adding almost the same songs, which means they're using the most popular, already known to people similar songs, and nothing is original with those. Like example in these similar song shorts, I saw EXO's Love Shot and Louis Tomlinson and BB Rex's song. It's annoying how boring K-pop shorts are a lot of the time. People should have some originality in K-pop shorts, and should stop doing shorts that'll get them views, and start making shorts that they like, and shouldn't care much for views. I don't mean that they shouldn't entirely not care for views, but if they do want views then bring some originality to the table. Nobody wants to see boring content or content that is generic, or content that is copying other contents, from which I mean content that is similar amongst K-pop shorts, and two or three K-pop shorts add the same things in their K-pop shorts. The second opinion is that, I'm sorry but Sorn's Run was a better song than Sharp Objects. I was psyched for Sharp Objects, because I heard the snippets on Instagram of that amazing retro instrumental beat drop, and it sounded like a bop. But I was let down by a bad song, that got boring fast. And yes it did become one of my most played songs of the current time, a month or two ago, but it's only because of me trying to make a mashup of sharp objects which ended up being bad and I deleted it. And me trying to listen to it properly to get a good idea of the song, or to see if I actually hate it, or if I liked it instead. But that's the only reason why it became one of my most played, amongst others. And in conclusion I hate it, and Sorn's Run still remains her best song. It's calm, road trip vibes, simple, beautiful vocals, soothing music and a perfect masterpiece that is not at all boring like y'all say it is. But Scorpion is good though. Better than sharp objects. The third opinion is that, there should be an artist of the month, but should have one for vocals and rapping. Like an artist of the month, that brings specific amazing rappers and singers for them to showcase their god-tier vocals, and rap skills. The high notes are soft heavenly vocals, and the fast raps are the chill calming raps would literally be the highlights of the artists of the month, because dancing isn't the only thing in K-pop. This should happen, because as a singer, I love vocals and secondly I love rap, and thirdly I love dance. So I'm not that into dance as I am for vocals and raps. So yeah. Also what the fuck. The way I written this opinion down while watching Biomwehauer's unpopular K-pop opinions video, this opinion was made the same time that video was uploaded, so a few days ago, the way they said it directly as I write it down. So technically we both had the same opinion at the same time. Wow what a coincidence. The fourth opinion is that, I hate that so many artists are underrated, but at the same time I'm happy that not a lot of people know them, considering how popular groups' idols get hate for no reason sometimes, and there's always something happening to someone from a bigger group, or the group in general. I actually want a lot of groups to become popular. I want a lot of groups popular disbanded, to have their brave girls moment. I want a lot of people to shine. I even want a lot of K-pop soloists to get their spotlight as well, but I'm scared of the hate. I'm scared of the unnecessary things that will happen to the group or a member of the group or soloist. That's all. If people were kinder as K-pop stands, then I wouldn't have been as scared. The fifth opinion is that, I've is a bit meh for me with their two title tracks. I haven't listened to their B-sides, but considering how meh their titles are, I don't think I'll find their B-sides anything special. Eleven became my favorite big company 2021 debut, and was second on my, ranking every 2021 debuted girl group, but Eleven slowly became really boring. With Love Dive, the song was better, and it did become my top song of the current time, and was added to my recent, top songs of 2022 part 2 video, because I do like it, but it's kinda having the same effect as Eleven, and I will slowly dislike it, and find it boring. I don't hate Ive, it's just that their titles are meh, Love Dive is still okay though, but soon it'll become boring. I just know it. The sixth opinion is that, softer or ballad music should be more in K-pop. 
I don't care if y'all like fast-paced music, or loud annoying hard hitters, I want companies to be brave enough to release ballad or chill titles, even if there's chances of fans not streaming or listening to it much. Because at least then people can have more appreciation for slower-paced music, and wouldn't have to call it boring all the time. Plus we need more soft music. There's so much noise in K-pop, that we need some calming or ballad tones to help keep the noise down. We need it. We need the soothing effects of calming songs, or beautiful ballads. I want more ballads and chill songs amongst bigger groups or underrated groups from bigger companies. And I'm not talking about as B-sides, but as title tracks. I would love that, and also it'll help people to appreciate chill or ballad songs more, and will stop them from calling them boring, which in fact isn't true. Slowed paced music isn't boring to y'all. Y'all just listen to too much fast paced music, that y'all forget the beauty of slower paced music in K-pop. We need more so people can learn to appreciate them, not call them boring and not forget about them. The last opinion is that, I don't get why OO was deemed the worst debut, just because of the transitions. If the transitions alone are what made people think of it as a, worst debut, then next level should be called the, worst comeback, because it also has an odd transition. The song was made well, but the transitions are the only odd parts of the song. Besides the transitions the bulla bulla parts of the song and the superhero part, were both made so well, it's just the transitions that made the song odd. But the transitions alone aren't enough to deem this song the worst debut. I would understand if the song had like a weird instrumental or autotune or lyrics or vocal editing or something. But OO only has odd transitions, which as I said isn't enough to deem this the worst debut when it isn't. Plus if people got over the odd transition in Next Level, which was two separate songs, and loved Next Level then why can't people do the same for OO, which is also the same as Next Level, being two separate songs as well. Yes the transitions in OO were more off-putting than Next Level, but if Nmix released these two songs separately y'all would definitely stream both, and wouldn't call it messy, and y'all are only calling it messy in the worst debut because of its odd transitions. That's it. That's the true facts that y'all cannot deny, which is kinda dumb to be honest. Today is not good, it's not good.